Hi, I'm Chef Perry, the vegan girl. Today I'm going to uh, show you a recipe that uh, was from the last recipe on the last video and stretching our meals a little bit, getting them out there and uh, making some completely different new new meals with leftovers. So on the last meal I made uh, tempeh rice with cashew, uh, like a stir fry. And what I did is between, I had that for a meal, and I've taken part of that, I'm going to add some ingredients, mix it up, and make a completely different meal with it. So as you can see, I have some peppers here. I had my, uh, about a cup full of the tempeh rice cashew from the previous uh, video there. I made some fresh lentils, so about half a cup, a little bit more of lentils, uh, some peppers, some sauce, seasonings. Anyways, let's get into it. So basically, I just cut my uh, tops off, my peppers, clean the rind out the seeds out and stuff like that. Now, these ones aren't too bad, they sit pretty good, but if you find that they're wobbly, they don't sit too good, there's a couple things you can do. You can stick two picks in the side, get like a tripod for them. What I'll do sometimes is I'll take my knife and just shave off just a little bit of the edges on the bottom. This to create a flat surface. And that way there's no rocking. You get those little humps off up there. So take those out. Do the same for this one. Again, it's not too bad. And I'm just gonna take just the hair off. So I'm not cutting through the pepper so there's no holes in the bottom. It's just taking the uh, little pumps off the top so it creates a nice solid foundation. So there you go, grill tip. Just for you. Thank you. Okay, so now let's get our uh, stuffing together. So again, I've got about a cup of my tempeh rice. Put that in there. My lentils, put that in there. This might be too much to fill it up, but it doesn't matter. Extra is always good. And I'm gonna do a little seasoning first. So I got a little bit of thyme. Put a thyme on my side. Thyme on my side. Yeah. Anyways, do a generous pinch of that. Okay. Got the Himalayan salt. Himalaya. Good pinch of that. Oregano, Oregano. Jokes today, got jokes today. Pinch of that. Smoke, paprika, we're gonna save till later. Uh, as a topping, once it's done, a couple spins of the fresh black pepper. I also got my oven heating to 350 uh, right now, so that's heating up, warming up right now, because we're gonna bake them in the oven. So once you get that, let's give them a little, little bit of stir. Mix a little bit, get the seasonings mixed up together in there. And now, I'll put a little bit of maple syrup. A tablespoon, fresh maple syrup. Not the sugary, store-bought fake stuff. Please don't put that in there. This just gives it a nice little bit of sweetness. Not too much, but just enough. Also helps bind everything together a little bit. And stir that up again. It smells good. Now this here uh, is just a pepper sauce. This is eggplant and red pepper blend. Um, I usually make my own, but for convenience, to let you guys know you can use this. You can buy this at the store, grocery stores anywhere, or use just marinara sauce or tomato sauce, anything that you uh, enjoy using. And you can use that. So I'm just gonna do a couple, two, three, go with four generous tablespoons. Mm. Good stuff. All right. So now we'll mix everything up. So again, you can use marinara sauce, whatever, whatever spaghetti sauce you really like. You can use the salsa if you like to. Um, you know, pick your flavors. But this is what we're doing. We're just making a completely different meal with leftovers. So it's not like leftovers. Oh, no, that, no, we need a completely different meal, as you can see. Looks good, good, good. Actually, ever since everything's pretty cooked already, I can. Mm. 
Hmm. You put a little bit more salt in there. Just a little bit. Now I can double dip and stir because I'm not going to eat this, so no worries about cross contamination. Again, it's just going to steam and heat up inside. It's already pre cooked, so no problem there. You take our main ingredient, a little bit of love, and stir it up with it. All right, I'm pop this in the oven and uh, I'll be back. We'll plate it, taste test it, give it a I can, one of my grills. See you in a bit. So, grills, I am back. And the pepper stuff, pepper is ready. It looks delicious. Have a look at that. A little bit of brown on top. Nice. Sweated a little bit. So a little side salad. I got some more of the sauce of your choice, my choice, sear, the wall stuff. And uh, have a look at that. Oh, yeah. That's nice. It was in the oven 350 for about uh, 35-ish minutes, depending on your oven. Uh, mine took about 35 minutes I took it out. Again, nice little golden hue on top. Smear a little smoked paprika at the end there, on top of that. So let's give it a go. And it's happy. Okay. Another recipe from the base of Tampi Rice. It's hot. <laughs> you can see the steam coming out of that. Take a little bite, burn myself. Maybe a little bit more of the sauce. Some of the internals. Mm. What a great meal. The time really comes out with that. Not being a big fan of time. 
Um, yeah, obviously admit that. Put it in another season if you like, but I, I like the case, but, um, but yeah, it, it really comes out and it's much it I've seen, so can't stop. Seasonings all came good together. The uh, rice, tempeh, the lentils. Mm. Is that soft? Really good. I'm gonna give it um, five. Five out of five for Probably think, do I ever get anything more? I do sometimes. Uh, I've had some that got no curls. Trust me, I experiment a lot of stuff. Uh, so I'm just turned out like So you know, make it so I try to make stuff as good as possible. Uh, four or five usually, but it happens. Trust me, it happens. But for a leftover of the original, this is a, you know second meal of it. This is great. This is um, totally different meal from the first one, and it didn't it cost me really any extra except for some peppers and you know which I bought and a little bit of sauce and made a little side salad. So it's great. Uh, give a shot, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. And I got another recipe coming next week with uh, an arranger of the tempeh and rice again. So I'll make something else again. So subscribe if you haven't subscribed so that way uh, it's free and you can get notified so you can see what the third thing is that I make out of that uh, tempeh rice. So not bad for leftovers, which again, you wouldn't even know it. All right, anyways, if I don't see you again or wanted to see you again, namaste. Much love. Be kind. See ya.